Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some more Dragalia Lost? Dragalia Lost? Dragalia Lost. Today I'm going to be going over the This Month in Dragalia, the thing they do every start of every month that lets us know what's coming for this month. Alright, let's get into it. Uh, remember, of course, if you end up liking this video, to leave a like, comment about how you what you're excited for in This Month in Dragalia, and of course, sub to me subscribe i've never called it sub until that moment subscribe to me if you want more stuff all right let's go into it uh in june we added chapter 14 to the main campaign adding a new flame attuned boss aya and otoho to the agito uprising and held a new facility event rhythmatic resolutions i hope you're enjoying these additions as those who play chapter 14 of the main campaign will know a new adventure joins your party when you clear the chapter uh not spoiling who it is wow Never mind. <laughs> oh, and no, no, they don't. There's also a Gala Jigalia that's currently that is currently live. In addition, Princess Shell and Shadow Tone. Everyone knows this is the main thing you want from there. This is just them talking about the illustration. If you have not seen their moth form, there it is. Um, wow, Halloween Elysine's Mana Spiral. Thank you for the feedback you sent since we unlocked Halloween Elysine's Mana Spiral on June 18. We're considering readjusting for Halloween Elysine based on the feedback thank you oh my god it was listen i gave her the mana spiral i did that video i love halloween ellie and i tried my i still use her to this day they screwed up with this mana spiral holy crap um they're gonna be taking the feedback considerations we unlock with other adventures whose mana spirals have been unlocked I apologize for the wait but please be patient while we finalize these adjustments once the adjustments have been finalized we'll share more information via notifications Thank you. Um, it's a shame that we couldn't get together and kind of save Celiara if we knew that this could happen. But this is what I mean when I say, like, if you have a problem with Halloween Ellie, don't get mad. You can get sad because it's not very good. But it, it does not matter if you just get mad. What matters is that you calmly go to feedback and tell them what the issues you're having with. Then they'll actually look into it and fix it. Like, that's something like, again, no no vid person who makes a video game sets out to make a bad video game. They just, sometimes people make mistakes, and sometimes, hell, I'm dealing it with Dragon Ball Legends. Dragon Ball Legends just dropped the fucking turd called Zenkai 7 um, Super Saiyan Trunks Red. Red Super Saiyan Trunks, the one the community has been wanting for the longest time. He's bad, he's god-awful, and guess what? Legends doesn't actually listen to their feedback. They pretend to, but they don't actually. So that dude's gonna stay bad for the rest of his life, chances are. Unless I'm wrong, in which case, good on Legends. But, you know. The thing is, is that for this kind of feedback, you have to remember, send feedback. You can try and get other people to kind of rally together and do that. And hopefully this mana spiral works out. Otherwise, we're going to have to rally again and go for it again. I really hope that's not the case, though. All right. That's good news. I'll, I'll definitely make another video once the Halloween Ellie uh, thing kind of goes by. What the hell am I talking about? Sorry, I just got finished streaming. Uh, plans for this month. We'll unlock mana spirals for the following water tune adventures. Thank you. On July 2nd, we've been needing them. Uh, Zardan, Richard, uh, Karina, Luther, Xander, and Lily. Oh, I was about to say, Lily's really good for this Agito, but the problem is that Lily is too old. So I'm really excited to see how Lily does. If you are not here for early Dragalia, early in the year, oh my god, like first week when Lily dropped, all the only room, if you want to talk about how Shadow was the, a lot of people will tell you, hey man, there's nothing but Shadow. I dare you to find a person who did not just always use Lily in the early games of Dragalia. If you had Lily, you only use Lily. That was my experience, and that was my experience going into every room. Because Lily was just so crazy good. She said ring a ling ling. Everyone loved her. So I'm glad to be seeing that they'll be getting, she'll be getting a mana spiral. Xander kind of needs one for sure. Um, and these units, I'll, I'll see how they kind of do it. I think, yeah, water definitely needs a healer. So if Rickard can be good. Ricard could be good. That'd be nice. Uh, defensive event will start mid-July. Defensive events progress in a similar manner to the onslaught event held last month, but it'll, it'll be possible to play co-op in the defensive battle quest during the defensive event. We're also adjusting things to enemy positions for defensive battle quest, making it possible for players to divide the task of defeating enemies to complete the quest more efficiently. In the previous onslaught event, many players quit playing without completing it. It's true, possibly because it was necessary to repeat quests of every difficulty. 
level. This time around, we smoothed out the quest progression and adjusted the balance to make it easier to obtain battle charts. Also, hey, great that you're adjusting that to battle charts. It fucking sucked <laughs> to actually grind out. I'm swearing a lot. Excuse me. I don't... Mm, the Legends thing got me riled up. Um... It's not only, the problem wasn't only the battle charts. The problem was also that, like, it was too much, and it felt like by the end of it, like, that wasn't worth your grind. Um, the tomes are good, but, God, they need to lower, we either need to get way more tomes, or lower the cost to getting them way more. So, well, I don't know, I'm excited to see. The theme will be summer, and that will feature new summer adventurers. I'm gonna call it now, Summer Mim 2020. 2020 has been a bad year. Summer Mim can save the day. That's my feelings. Uh, I'm excited for that, of course. We'll add Hunt for Harmony Facility event to the event compendium in mid-July. Okay. We'll revive Splash of Adventure raid event in July. The story of the Splash of Adventure is the raid event connected to Crescendo of Courage facility event, and we'll revive the Crescendo of Courage facility event as well as in August. Um, this has the big booby pirate uh, dragon lady, who I like. Uh, and Crescendo of Courage... I don't, you know, a lot of people talk about how the, the first year anniversary has the best story um, for an event. I really like the story of this one. Um, a lot of people kind of got angry that Siren had two units back to back, basically. Uh, but Popstar Siren's, like, entire story and how it was just kind of a story about, like, like the dragon being so badly abused in some cases or just like no one giving a crap about him like the idea of like taking the sirens mythology about how she purposely makes sailors crash into it and kind of purposing like oh no i'm like that's not how i am i i, I really like the story i'm glad to have it back it this is i think genuine genuinely my favorite story event from dragalia followed by uh the the time one which i want to call a crack in time because of ratchet and clank but it's not that July, uh, no, July, uh, additionally, at the end of July, we'll have, they'll add Master Difficulty to Cayenne for the Guido Uprising. Good luck, man. I don't know what a Master Difficulty for Shadow in the current form it is, what it looks like. I don't, I honestly don't know. Um, Cayenne is a joke. It's a joke fight. There's no easy way of saying it. It's a joke fight. Uh, mainly because Shadow is so crazy powerful, and I don't understand how you can make a master thing for this. Not in a way of like, how are you going to do that? It's more like, yeah, how? How can you do this without actually making it um, difficulty, making the difficult good enough, and you can actually see the moves he does? Because he... Kanyan has a lot of moves that no one ever sees because he dies too quickly. Um, you never make it past <laughs> very far. Uh, he never makes it past his moves very far. You end up skipping a lot of them. Um, future updates and a future update will adjust the axe, bow, wand, and staff weapon types to make their force strikes easier to use. These weapon types take a long time to charge their- yeah, they do. And users are sometimes attacked while charging, so we're currently adjusting them to be able to charge and release their force strikes while moving. Holy crap! We'll just adjust the force strike charge speed and power for some of them. Oh, okay, so that's how they're gonna- because I was about to say, that's- Hunter Cerise's um, gimmick is that she can just walk around freely. So if you can just walk, but it's super slow, um, maybe that'll help. That kind of does. That's a low key buff to everyone else and a low key nerf to Hunter Cerise. I feel. Um, I don't know. We'll see how that speed goes. I think this is a good change, though. Um, especially if that. Wait, wait a minute. Now that I think about it, they could increase the speed of Hunter Cerise's four strikes. Huh. I'll be interested to see what that is. That's a pretty good update. Um, I mean, this is potentially good. Uh, we've seen a particularly large amount of reactions to a new ally who joins in Chapter 14. It's crazy who gets joined. Um, we'll add an interlude in Chapter 14 in late July, and we'll add Chapter 15 in mid-August. So please look forward to the new edition. The Shadow of Tomb Vaults will be added to Algorithm Uprising at the end of August. Uh, Darth Maul. Not Darth Maul. Um, Mace Windu. Because he's a Jedi. You can see his lightsaber right there. In conclusion, we'll give players three sun vouchers, three uh, sunlight ores, and some blessed ethan ashes. And that is it for this month in Dragalia. So, hmm. I fully expect for some mana spirals for the summer units in these. And the main thing I have to worry, wonder about, worry and wonder about, is who the new summer units are going to be. Definitely think of Summer Ellie. Um, I definitely think it's pot because we had Summer Clea. Let me double check on them because I want to say the thing is that we had Summer Juliet, Summer Ciliara, Summer Cleo, and Summer Veronica. But we had Summer outfits for Summer 
Uh, oh no, in Summer Renzel and Summer Luca. But we had outfits for Summer Ellie. We did not have a Summer Mim outfit. That was the thing. Um, we could have Summer Lexi, I don't know. Uh, it's hard to think about who would get- I'm just looking at a picture of Ellie. I don't know why I came over here. I'm gonna go, <laughs> I'm gonna go back over here. This festival's dance is back. Whoa. Um, yeah, that's this month in Dragalia. It's looking to be kind of interesting. I knew that the summer thing was gonna be coming up, so I'm fully ready to get all my worm on. I don't know how I'm gonna follow up that summon video where I pulled three of this kitty right here, but hey, I'm gonna try. And if there's summer mim, then I guarantee I will waste every single worm until I get her. That's a guaranteed damn fact. You can hear from me right there. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of today's video, everyone. I'm really glad about the Halloween Ellie Mana Spiral. It's gonna be real fun. Um, I really hope it's good. I sure as hell hope they learn their lesson. Um, yeah, it's gonna be the end of today's video. Remember, leave a like if you end up liking it. Uh, comment about how you feeling this next month is gonna, this month is gonna look out for you. What summer units are you looking forward to? Uh, and that's it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to subscribe as well. There you go. Now I've come full circle. Goodbye and have a good night.